Hello and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. Well, last part I've cleared out some levels of the ruins already, which have proven a little bit more difficult at times than I wanted to admit. But oh hey, I guess my skill on playing this game only lies on the 3DS, so I guess I have to practice a bit more and enter a few more temples down here in the ruins. Don't know what this level's called, Bite and Berries? Something? I don't know. I mean in English at least. First of all we gotta just destroy one of their sculptures. Sure they're gonna take that well. Honestly I love the bonus room atmosphere. I mean aside from the music which is kind of too funky. But the bonus room in Donkey Kong Country always had like... Okay, come on. Okay, I was gonna miss that if I waited for the platform to return. I always have to be a little bit careful with my uh, jumps with rolling and stuff, because I don't want to smack my Wii remote against the table. But sorry for the disturbance, I just had to move my mic over, or else you'd have a fucking uh, engine jet engine in your ears all the time because my laptop's kind of loud. My laptop's old but it still works. Like you couldn't play Elden Ring on. Oh, oh look. It's as if, it, <laughs> as if I wouldn't see them. Like the first time I went in here and went here like I got a huge shock. I was like what the fuck are those? So like those are the main enemies. There's only these enemies. They literally do not have the uh, normal wood enemies in this game. Uh, not in this game. No, um, like in this level. Which is pretty cool considering that like the level is literally called Biting Berries. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there is something up here, just nothing of much worth. So, these little one, this little one is dropped in a cage. And to open the gate over, I have to... Alright, that's a heart. That's always very useful. And that's not very useful. <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing to constantly die. Yeah, no, but I still got the puzzle piece. I don't even know why they let us in. Maybe to ambush us? I don't know. But since I'm quite decent at speedrunning, I... Oh. <laughs> he says as he dies. Alright, anyhow, let's just... Confuse him a little more, get the K, and open the door in the process. I wanted to say, since I'm quite decent at speedrunning, it won't take me much time to get back to the point where I was. The thing is, though, I need to collect every K or NG letter again. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Yeah, you can destroy those statues. Probably not very nice, but they're literally just biting us. And if Donkey Kong wants to keep his uh, limbs intact, I think he should... If Donkey Kong wants to keep his ankles, probably, because they're not very tall. I mean, they're quite large for berries. And they're quite fuzzy, too. Ugh. It's like a hunting strategy. They disguise themselves as a little larger berries, and then they attack whatever wants to eat them. Must be quite intimidating. Like, imagine just going out into the woods trying to collect some blueberries or whatever. Because you can definitely do that. And then it just jumps at you and tries to eat you with super sharp teeth and is also fuzzy. Honestly, it's not as bad as spiders, because these things at least have, like, normal mouths. I really can't explain why I hate spiders. Oh, <laughs> that one just jumped down. I was like, goodbye. I didn't want to live anymore. No, I just can't explain why I don't like spiders. Honestly, it's just... They're weird, okay? Like, they have eight legs. They have super weird... Um... Like... Teeth? Mouths? Like, they have very specific mouth shapes. Whereas most, if not all, like, vertebrae... Like, animals with a... Um, vertebra? Oh, I think I've... Yeah. Oh, 
what they refer to. I think what most people refer to as vertebrata, or you know, generally is referred to as animals with a vertebrae, so a spine, uh, can also be defined by their head region. I just learned that in Paleo. Yeah, whatever though. So these things definitely don't have a spine, cause they're literally just a head. And like, it's only a round. Maybe they have a very small spine that would make it much weirder, but whatever. But like, these things are definitely not as bad as spiders, cause they have a normal mouth, they don't have legs, and while I'm afraid of snakes to a certain degree, cause they like, they can get in through a lot, they can get into your, uh, like, I don't know where, quite good. Spiders are just a bit worse. That one didn't like to live to. Oh, do we need Diddy Kong here? I think we might. Ouch. Please don't die. There's not many checkpoints here, too. Ow! Master. Can we just... Yeah, okay, we can. Alright, so let's just load over here! <laughs> wow, this is really poor. Honestly, I... It's kind of embarrassing that Diddy Kong can't really fly far at all. At least those give you a lot of banana coins, and we'll need those later. I mean... Oh, we don't... We don't, technically. Alright, let's get the N. Lure them into their demise. Yeah, so spiders are just my biggest fear, technically. Probably along with great heights and snakes. I mean, snakes is not up there, up there. It's only like the really poisonous ones and the ones that spit poison. Like some sorts of cobras. Like the actual big boars, they're not that awful. I mean, sure, uh, being... Strangled by a giant snake is surely not a pleasant experience and must be quite horrifying too. But at least they, I don't know, have to get close to you, whereas, you know, spitting cobras just spit their poison at you and can blind you from like meters away. That's kind of scary. And also, snakes can, you know, slither around quite quickly and some will attack you. And also, Australia exists, but that's more known for the spiders. Also, you just get a barrel. Uh, also, I just went off on another weird tangent about what I don't like. Like, most other animals are kind of okay. Maybe some poisonous ones, like, I don't know, stonefish. Like, that thing that disguises itself as a stone. Lives in Australia, of course, and is super poisonous. <sighs> oh, I shouldn't have blown air into my mic. That probably is gonna kill your someone's ears. And that's done. Good. I only died like twice, I think. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but you know. I don't know. Alright, Nate. Nate, only one more level here, which is 3 6. Well, so. Yeah, that about my fears. I mean. If you were to really want to strike fear into me, you just have to put me, like, in a choice. Oh, Rambi's back, definitely. Between, like, having to leap off a tall cliff, but I could survive the jump. Or, you know, being brutally run over by spiders. I mean, not run over in the t sense that a spider has a car. Although that would be kind of funny. Um, no, I mean, like, literally just overrun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was sure there was a word for it. My English was just ancient and crumbling, like it's Templars. Yeah, so Rambi can just run over everything. But it's just way more fun, because there's more enemies now. And, like, you know, if you get to run... If you I get to, you know, in a video game at least crash through my enemies. That's cool. 
I don't know if I have enemies in real life. I hope I don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't made any until now. No one's told me, but whatever. Nah, I don't think I have enemies in real life. Though I don't even know if anyone really likes me. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. I mean, not right now. Because we have a temple to demolish. Like, look at how Rambi tears through this thing. It's like a full one man or one rhino wrecking crew. If Rambi's let loose, he's just gonna demolish the entirety of, like, of a building. Like, imagine Rambi the rhino being let loose in some major city. Gonna look like there was a superhero versus a supervillain fight after that. It's not gonna be very fun. Guess that's why Spider-Man has, like, a rhino. Cause, you know, rhinos are just qu quite strong. I mean, seriously, I wouldn't... S seriously, sometimes I fear hippopotamus and rhinos more. Oh, I thought the temple music would switch to, like, the more boppy one, like the faster one, but I guess it's just the normal temple music voices of the temple. Which does make sense. No, but, like, I'm kind of more scared of hippos and rhinos sometimes, because they have quite a destructive power, and hippos can go up to 30, I think, kilometers per hour. Like, oh yeah, sure. Uh, it looks benign, until it will, uh, without, God damn it, Rambi, until it will, without hesitation, charge at you at high speeds, and then ram into you until you are dead, although I doubt you would survive the first impact if it just tramples you. Seriously, like, okay, crocodiles, they are, okay, crocodiles are kinda scary too, but, you know, not that bad. Because I've seen like pictures of crocodiles where they just look like a car ran over them. I mean, it's not funny, you know, animals getting run over is not really that funny, but crocodiles just look very flat sometimes, and that really takes the fear away. Also, if you don't go close to a body of water where crocs or alligators or, you know, such stuff lives, that you're not gonna, probably not gonna die from the one. I mean, you know. Uh! All right, time to stop talking about animals and how they might end my existence. I think it's more important that we escape this crumbling old structure. <laughs> this is the true challenge, the true enemy. It's structurally unsound buildings. All right, so we didn't miss a puzzle please. The last one is right back here. Still, always remember the rule of video games with collectibles and straightforward levels. That's kind of specific, but like, a lot of video games had that. Before, like, everything became open world and character creation and so, and so on. Like, just look at the end and at the beginning. Like, left to the beginning and right of the end of the level. Always. Alright, time for the boss. Ruined Roost. I actually know that one because it has a banger theme. And I must admit this is one of the cooler bosses. I wish he would have had a bit better design, but in terms of boss fight mechanics... That's pretty great. We got a big bird and an egg. Honestly, the bird looks really cool. This could have been a very, very nice like, design boss fight, but whatever. Yeah, of course he hypnotizes it. And he lets the big bird hatch instantly. This thing doesn't really look like it's, you know, very matured with its short stubby wings. But like, it lets us know that it's not happy with us, uh, you know, throwing some angry words at it. Because it throws bombs. Also, it doesn't directly throw you, uh, throw those bombs at you. Damn it. Yeah, it's kind of hard just catching the bombs. Because it doesn't throw them directly at you. 
it rather throws them like somewhere. Oh, I gotta pick that up and throw it. Oh, I was hoping not to. Yeah, okay, that's the second one. That's nice. This fight can be completed extremely quickly if you're good. But it looks like like this bird with its extremely stubby wings is just holding this giant golden pot upright. Yeah, you can just hit it multiple times. And it just has multiple nukes inside it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that doesn't do that much. Yeah, now everything is lower, so it of course gets harder to hit the bird. I don't even know its name. I'm just betting on... Whoa! Having not to learn it. Yeah, now it throws a whole bunch of bombs. That we just counter by grabbing one, chucking it at him, and... And as it turns out, he's just extremely fat. Kinda sad. I mean, I guess the body was just a golden pot that he was in. So, I guess you can say he just got cooked. Okay, that was a very bad joke, sorry. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if they didn't make him extremely fat, but instead, like, made him summon bombs out of his, I don't know, down feathers? Downy feathers? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. That would have been a really nice boss fight. Like, they made him an actual phoenix, which was portrayed on the golden gong. But, yeah, whatever. And now, we get to the world I was hoping I wouldn't have to do, but, you know, it's, it's a game where you have to have linear progression, so I have to play this world. This is the caves. And the caves are not my most hated world, they actually grew on me. No, they're the hardest world in my opinion, or maybe second hardest directly after the volcano. Later on, spoiler star, this game has been out for quite a while now, so, you know. So, we start out on a small river, down into a small jungle area. Where we see that the entrance is blocked off by crumbling, crum crumbled rocks and some other stuff. And do watch out, there's a bonus room here. To the left, but here's the thing. I wanted to get it to decom before that. Yep. Oh no, there wasn't even a bonus room. Okay, that's fine. That's honestly really good. Thank you, game. No, but this world is hard for a different reason. I'll get to it why, but let's first go in here into the mines and see what goes in here. What goes on in here. Jeez, oh, I should really work on my English. Or oh, not record it like 22 o'clock. That's the second puzzle piece, and I think it's about time I tr start losing my sanity, which I probably already have done, but this world consists entirely of minecart and rocket barrel levels. Entirely. And this first one is quite special. This is one of few minecart levels, and the only, and this is the only game even in the entire series where you have minecart levels. Sorry for the bad English, by the way. Where you can jump off of the minecart and steer Donkey Kong mid-flight with the steering cross, with the D-pad. It's called a D-pad, not a steering cross, because it's called Steuerkreuz in German. And that's just steering cross literally translated, but it's called D-pad in English, and apparently my pea-sized brain isn't able to comprehend the translation process, so whatever. And yeah, basically these minecarts are filled with crystals, and we just have to jump from one to another while the entire rail section collapses. Quite frightening, and I think this was basically the world I got stuck on as a kid, because I used to play this game so much, and besides being stuck on the final boss and rock barrel levels, I got stuck on this specific world for an extreme amount of time until like, I don't know, what was it? I think I used Super Kong, which is a 3DS exclusive. What? Oh dear. Oh yeah, there's a bonus barrel underneath here. Do watch out for that. But you do have to fall into the middle, elsewise you'll miss it and die. 
I think I'll cut this part a bit shorter. I know I won't cut any sections out. I'll just make it shorter because the video is already 20 minutes long. And if I play two more levels, like this one and another one, it's gonna be a bit too long. Oh yeah, and by the way, thank you for the great support on these videos. You seem to be liking those a bit better than like my last Let's Play on Subnautica. Because apparently I can't do Subnautica very well. Or you just didn't like me, uh, you know, trying to act in a role because I'm horrible at acting. Alright, it's good. Back on the minecart though. This is probably the meanest puzzle piece. You have to actually wait until you get back here. And I just fucking missed it, so I have to kill myself. I mean, in the game, of course, you know, not in real life. Um, Diddy Kong's jetpack doesn't actually work off of the minecart, so... Really, Donkey Kong? Can't you just make this simple jump? You know, this is why I usually play, like, the options with higher mobility, and this is why I like Funky Kong more, because Funky Kong just has so much... You know, you just don't die instantly. I mean, I'm just a bad player, of course, but in general, it's just... You know, you have a bit more mobility. You don't need to, you know, worry about every singular jump that you make. I really hope they make a Switch remake for this game with Funky Kong. I would play the ever-living... Yeah, I would play the hell out of this game. Pretty sure YouTube's gonna ban me once I get more than 1000 subs. Because, like, I just swear a lot. Someone pointed that out to me. I mean, I think I already told you this story. I was doing my Bowser's Fury Let's Play. Someone pointed out to me that I swear too much and that children are watching my channel. Like, my channel is kinda not for children. Sure, I play video games, I play Nintendo. Cool. But, like... Yeah, no. Alright, that was one of the easier ones. <sighs> like, I do swear at times. And whether I could market for plus 18 audiences only, kinda no. <laughs> yeah, no, just kidding. But of course, like, you should be aware that my channel... I should put it in my channel description, like, warning this channel contains swearing, so, you know, explicitly advised. I could also just turn on every video to 18, but I don't know how to do that, and I have like 80 videos, so I can't be bothered. Alright, cleared that with only one death. Next time, it's going over... We do have some time left, do we? Don't I just go for it? You know what, frickin... You know, under 30 minutes is fine. As long as it's like, not like 35 minutes, it's fine. Like, my Subnautica videos were all just too long. All the 40, 50 minute videos, even the one hour stuff, all the ones that were horribly cut were just way too long. So... This one still has these minecarts. Of course, it has a different theme, as you can hear, but it has this horrendous mechanic of having to jump off of each minecart, like, every three microseconds. Not only that, but also that you have to hang on to vines every three seconds, too. And, most importantly, they introduce the mechanic of having to jump onto higher-level minecarts. Yes, oh wait, you can use Diddy's jackpack, but it instantly kills you. Yeah, this is why I really didn't want to play this level right now. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna hope that I can clear it in like two tries. But I can't guarantee you anything. This might take a while. But I've started it, so yeah. Luckily, jumping onto enemies doesn't kill your momentum instantly. This is so mean. You always have to be on the lookout for like bonus barrels and all kinds of stuff down here. And the mean thing is, you can steer to the re to the left or right when you jump off of the minecart, but it's really hard to control sometimes because Donkey Kong instantly starts accelerating to extremely high speeds. And there's one more puzzle piece right here where you have to jump off of this enemy, but not hold 2 or the jump button for too long. If you miss this, you instantly die. Also, I think you have to activate this minecart for the O, and then you start just going on a train whilst hanging onto vines, and then you, and only then get you, 
do you get your first checkpoint with another puzzle piece? This is insanity. Seriously, this is sheer insanity. And it gets even crazier. There's gonna be a minecart, like, at the close to the end of the level, where you have to jump up, and the jump is really tight. So you have to be extremely careful of when you jump. Also, you have to react in like seconds, always. So like the end is already hard enough and the fifth puzzle piece. But the G is just on another level. Like you have to jump there already. I missed it already because I'm... I forgot where it was. Admit it. Uh, hold on. Did I get that puzzle piece? I mean I did, but I just want to check. Good thing you keep those because I could bear collecting all of them every time again. That would make the levels... That would make every Donkey Kong game like such an annoying experience. Like the modern two of course, like DKCR and DKC Tropic Freeze. Cause if my, in my speedrun I had to collect every puzzle piece multiple times if I died... Yeah, I wouldn't have speedrun this game to 100%. Alright, okay, back on the minecart track. You just have to jump. You can use your jetpack. And then you can go over here, go over here, and then you have to be very careful, jump off the minecart so you don't die, and then ride this thing over to the finish line. I'm telling you, this level is kinda hard, and kinda stressful, but I did it anyways, like only in 3 or 4 tries. You know, most times I just have to die because I missed a collectible and I don't want to repeat the level for like 20 times. And yeah, we only unlock Cranky's shop. <laughs> Gonna be visiting him next time. And I think that's enough for today. Sorry for not uploading yesterday, by the way. I was quite busy with stuff I had to do. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Also tell me in the comments if you find my voice annoying. You know, just cause.